Hello. Who's all here? Probably nobody yet. I came very unprepared for those that may or may not be here. Um, I'm just going to throw the thumbnail over here because that seems like a nice thing to do. Um, your boy came unprepared. So, it's, it's quickie work here. Alright. Who is that? That is... Oh, Sam! What's going on, dude? How's my boy doing? Oh, my goodness. CJ, Joey Mon, hey, what's going on, man? How are you? Oh, my goodness. I gotta grab the stuff. Eric, hello. Okay, there's a few people here. I gotta grab my handy-dandy Donkey Kong mug thing. Did you see this? Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, it's the Mason. That's me. That is me, your boy. Oh, no. This has condensation all over it. Oh, my goodness. It's dripping everywhere. Okay. Alright. Uh... I told you I'd come happy smashing. Hello, what's going on? Oh, Black Pauldron, how you doing? Oh, Nintendo K, wait. Oh, yeah, Evelyn, hi. Sorry, the blue looks really weird. I gotta fix that. On this layout, it just looks like it's hard to read who's saying it because it's a mod. All the mods have that weird dark blue tone to their name. It's flat, but it's good. Okay. So, huh? Yeah, it's pink lemonade. Yeah, it does. It's okay. It's still good, though. Anyway. All right, so welcome to the E3 recap. Uh, I know this is kind of like a sudden thing, but I was like, you know, I'm going to entertain the people tonight because what else do I have to do? Uh, so I want to tell you all about E3. I'm going to tell you all about what I did, what I played, and all that stuff. Um, I did play Pokemon. I may or may not do a video on that. I'll decide by the end of this. Um, so that means, you know, there may or may not be a video coming up uh, regarding that. But so... Basically, E3. Um, first rule. Okay, how are you guys doing tonight? Let's talk about that for a second. Hello. You gotta go. Alright, thanks for hanging out for the two minutes, buddy. Have fun. <laughs> you can't find Danny's Donkey Kong mod. I did not steal it, Evelyn. I didn't steal it. I see that little emoji you're using. Okay, no, I didn't take it. They have it. They still have it. Well, they're good. Okay. CJ, every okay. There's like 13 people here. It says right now, that's not a bad start. So, uh, you're doing good. That's good. Slingshot. That's great. Anybody else got any emotions flowing through? You want to vent? Nothing. Maybe not. I don't know. Nothing but YouTube. Okay. 15 people here now. Hello, new people. Uh, Evelyn. Okay. She said, "Oh, Mason actually didn't steal the mug. It's okay." No. Okay. So. Anyway, um, E3 2018 happened, and that was kind of crazy. Um, you want to get the DK mug? It's like the coolest thing ever. I know, right? It's so cool. Um, oh, that's so that's such a cool idea, CJ. That's awesome. You're rad, Sam. That's good. I'm glad you're feeling rad. I gotta talk to you soon, actually. Too message me on Facebook. But anyway, um, so let's see. E3 was June 12th to 14th. Um, and you're such a big fan. Thank you, Sabbath. Hello. Uh, so, okay. I don't even know where to start. It was just a crazy week. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming people are going to want to talk during this, which is fine. If you got general questions or whatever, throw them in here. I'm just going to talk about E3 until somebody does that. But anyway, um, so we got, let's see. The first day, it was a lot. It was very disorganized. That's the first thing. Um, but real quick, uh, da, da, da. where can you get that mug? It's at Nintendo New York in New York City. Yeah. Favorite Super Mario game? Super Mario Sunshine. Or Mario 64. Okay. So anyway, E3. Um, the, the time getting there was actually kind of bad. I tweeted the other day before that I um, actually had a cancellation on my Airbnb. So that kind of sucked. Um, there really wasn't much I could do about it, though. The thing is, whenever... We, oh, I gotta fix this light. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. So, whenever I booked the Airbnb originally, it was me, Lucas, Corbin Mitchell, the people you saw in the vlogs, but then you saw Kyle. You did not see Kyle, actually. You saw him in pictures I put on Instagram, if you follow me there, I may sit enough, you know, if you want me to, if you want to follow, you can. Um, but, Kyle was supposed to be with us, his dad planned a trip to Europe that same week, coincidentally. So, you know, he was like, hey buddies, I'm not coming, so that was sad. But in, uh, okay, wait, I'm surprised Nintendo showed a lot of Smash A3, mostly they don't do that. I don't know, I was kind of disappointed with that, I'll get to that in a minute though. 
So anyway, we had this place booked. It was actually a room in like a in like a hostel. Hostel. I don't know how to say it. Anyway, hostel. I don't know. Anyway, the guy that was hosting this house had two rooms available that like five people each were sitting in. I thought we had the whole apartment, but we only had this one house, which really sucked. Um. Da da da. So, you know, I was kind of bummed because it's like, you know, we kind of want our own space instead of sharing it. Like, the price wasn't that bad, but still, it would have been nice to have our own place. But then the day before, I mean, I, I checked my email and bam, Airbnb is like, hey, your place is canceled. Um, you know, this, this dude, this host of this place, his name is Alex in California. Don't book with him. He'll cancel your trip. Anyway, uh, <laughs> basically... I get an email, and I'm sitting here, oh wait, um, did I see Reggie? No, favorite Switch game, Breath of the Wild. Okay, so I'm sitting here checking my email, and it's saying that the host of this Airbnb had a bathroom that wasn't working. There was two bathrooms in this place. Um, Mason, I'm easily distracted. Oh, hi. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I know I am. Okay, so anyway, um, this guy, you know, he, he, a, a day before... We're supposed to stay at this place. He calls his maintenance people, you know, and he's like, hey, we got a toilet not working. Nine people cannot use the one restroom. They got to share more than one. So, hey, both trips are canceled. So they got a hold of everybody in this thing. And they're like, hey, all the hosts anyway, me and the other group. Um, how would I rate the E3 experience? I'll get to that towards the end. But um, it, it was an upper seven rate. I'll say that much right now. Anyway, um. So I'm sitting here like, okay, I fly out of here in like 21 hours and all of a sudden I'm homeless in Los Angeles for a week. That sucks. It's definitely not a good time. So what I did was they said they could give me a refund and I could basically just kind of pick it up and book a new spot. I'm like, okay, because I had to do something. I looked around the first and cheapest place I saw was, um, it was, <laughs> The first place I saw was a little bit more expensive than what we had booked originally. Um, but then, basically, it was on Hollywood Boulevard and nobody said anything in the bio for that place. And the reviews or anything like that, nobody was like, hey, you know, you're staying on Hollywood Boulevard, right by the Walk of Fame, that's fun, lots of nice locations around. Nobody said anything about the place. It looked nice and I was like, you know what, okay, so I booked it. And because I had no time, but then we get there the next day and you know, we're on the walk of fame. We see Pitbull's star. We see Ellen DeGeneres and Jeff Dunham, all these famous people that I know it was crazy. Uh, so that was the thing that was really cool. And then let's see, we got in, we got settled. We went and got our badges. E3 did not allow cameras this time around, which is why you saw like no E3 videos at the convention. Basically, I was trying to be a goody two shoes and follow the rules and I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, I'll buy that arcade off you. <laughs> no, you won't. Okay, so, uh, sorry, buddy. Anyway, that's mine and mine only. It's going to stay that way. But, okay, so it was just like, if you're going to E3, everybody walks around there with a camera. Um, so, oh, you should help out Mason. They want to see you. <laughs> you coming over? One second. <laughs> Alright, Britain's going to be over in a minute since you guys seem to want her. Uh, but yeah, no, basically like, yeah, I don't know. It was just a crazy time getting there. The badges, the, the lanyards are super cool. Um, I actually could grab it, but I'm not going to. I, I just look it up if you want to see it. It's a lanyard. I'll show you all the goodies I got too at E3. But, um... You know, that's all I'm, st uh, this is, it's all in here, all my goodies, but I'll get to those later. Um, basically, um, uh, Mason, hi, hello, oh my gosh, is there a second Mason? That's weird. Hello, how you doing? Okay, so anyway, the lanyards, the back of them are Smash, and the front of them are like Mario Tennis, and all that stuff, or whatever. Okay, hello, this is Britain, you guys know her. Um... <laughs> Kenny West, thank you for subscribing. Oh, that alert is not. There it is. Yeah. It... Oh, delayed. oh, it was delayed. Okay, I'm stupid. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Hello. How are you? 
Acarific. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so, yeah. Okay, so, there was her appearance. I think she's going back to the bed now. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, okay. So, that was Britain. Uh, I think Don Donkey Kong Mug is also a GameStop. Yes, that there too. It's also there. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I am very distracted. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's the, it's real bad. I am. I'm just so like, ah, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> what was the story even? It was something about E3. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hollywood Boulevard. Oh yeah. The lanyards. Um, it had smash on the back it had like Mario tennis on the front. It had, um, you know, all these people. Everyone said focus. I'm trying, okay? And then, like, <laughs> the tags for E3, you know, they're general. I had a gamer pass. Um, so were the ambassadors, but if I was an ambassador, I still would have got that. But Nintendo doesn't want me anymore, so I can say whatever I want now. So, anyway, uh, yeah, that's fun. Um, but I was still happy to get the badge and everything. I was glad to go. It was a fun time. Um, you know, I was trying to see if I could go to the corporate booth this time around if I was still an ambassador. But, obviously, that wasn't the case, because they dropped me, which is fine. Whatever, I've kind of moved on from it. But, um, people were asking me there why I'm not an ambassador anymore. I'm like, I don't know. I can't give a direct answer, you know? But, that happened. Um, okay, so for games. Um, the first day was only five hours long. That was that. And, it sucks, because there's only five hours to stand in a line. You're inevitably going to wait hours to begin with for, to play it, and be done for the day. If you could take one thing from the Nintendo show for, what would I take? Um, Smash, if that counts, the game itself, I would take that. Um, no. I think I would take, like, uh, the sandbag statue that was sitting there. That was so cool. Um, GameStop got blown down by a tornado. That's not good. I'm sorry. They're a dying company anyways, but I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, that's sad. Okay, anyway. Um, so, I have a friend by the name of Will. Favorite YouTube channels I like to watch, all in caps. Um, I like Nintendo Kid Gaming. I watch a lot of Boogie2988. Um, I watch a lot of Who Is This Guy, which is Sam. He's a mod. He was just in here earlier, actually. Um, I don't really watch many big YouTubers. Jack's Films I do watch, though. Um, sometimes Dashy, if he's playing Mario Maker. It just depends. Uh, Nathaniel Bandy, people like that. Um, so, yeah. Basically, uh, let me think. I got in line with my friend Will. He was already in line. He's He had an industry pass, so he got in earlier. So he was basically like, hey, man, you know, haven't seen you since last E3. Jump in line with me and play Pokemon with me. So I'm like, dude, yes. You know? Uh, oh, Sam is still here. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. So anyway, um, Odd Ones Out is also another one, like his channel that I like to watch. Um, okay. Am I finally ready for a good Mario party? Oh, yeah. I'll get to that in a minute, too. Um. They didn't have that on the show floor, which sucks. I don't know. Anyway, I got there with Will, who was in the Pokemon line. He was already towards the front. I cut the line, yes, I'm sorry. I admit, I did that. But I waited three and a half hours to play this game, okay? Three and a half hours, and I was already towards the front. You know, I thought I was getting a great hookup from Will, but if I wasn't in the... If, if he didn't save a spot for me, I wanted to play that game at all, because that line was closed every single morning I walked in there, and they didn't shut down till like, you know, the line is closed because it's a seven hour wait. That's the thing. And you can't get in the line because you're not going to be able to play the game by the time they close. So that sucks. But I got to play that a little bit. Um, I played, um, yeah, like three and a half hours. I played like a 10 minute Pokemon demo. TGN, what's going on? Um, you know, so that was crazy. All I got was a little Pokeball. You know, a lot of the stuff is still over on the shelf. I'm not going to grab it because... But, um, here's some of the stuff I got. This is for if you play... Basically, at the Nintendo booth, I was going to, you know, play the games and get the stuff. If you play Mario Tennis Aces, you got a ticket to get into the other side of their booth. If you play one of those games, you get a Nintendo Switch cloth. The Switch cloth is just like the ones from PAX. They're just the red cloth with a white logo on it. It's still cool. It's a little bit bigger. But then, um, if you play Mario Tennis, you get these pins. So here's one with the game. Just the logo. It's really cool. And then you got Mario here with his racket. Here's Princess Peach. I'm actually really excited for this game. There's Luigi. I played that demo. It was actually really fun. Uh, I was shocked at how 
basically like technical it is I guess um, but then also aside from that here is the smash pin I have three of these because I played smash three different times and I'm not gonna go into detail I don't know if that's a good thing to say I got screwed over by a, a buddy of mine I put it that way um, waiting in line for the competitive smash anyway I wanted the hat I thought I was gonna get it but no obviously I'll tell you about the way anyway um, yeah, that happened, but I got the pins, so it's still cool. I got three of them. Uh, Mario Tennis looks red. Uh, super pumped for it. Nobody cares, Sam. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, buddy. Okay. Um, let's see. Mason, do you know if the Smash Bros. hat was already... Oh, if it was exclusive to E3? I don't... It's not going to come to stores, I don't think. It's an e It's definitely E3 exclusive, which is why I was trying to get it. The person that I thought was going to help me get it already had, like, four of these hats. And then he kept making up excuses about where the fifth one was going. He was going to win. He cut my group in half and jumped away. It, I, I'm not going to get into it. It was annoying. Um, anyway, ban from my own street. What happened? What are you talking about? Ban from my own street. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's get and go up in value. Uh, I'm scared that I played Mario Tennis demo for over... Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of... Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh. Oh, nice. Puppy lover. Thank you for the donations. Yeah. Uh, I was like $17, but no. Um, they were actually paying me for a commission I did for them. So, yeah. There's that. And then... Yeah. So, it's two extra dollars. Thank you, puppy lover. You're the best. Uh, wow. I was spawning trying to say... Okay, cool. Yeah. So, that is Super Chats. That is... A, okay. Gotta let the little thing play. Overlaps so many times. I need to mute the donation thing and all the other ones because they just overlap so many times. Anyway, thank you, puppy lover. Oh, we're good now. So, um, let's see. I really want that Smash Bros. I do too. I wanted it very badly. But, um, yeah. So, let's see. Uh, you watch this YouTuber Obi Wan plays Zelda Master C and D. I watch a I don't I don't watch much Obi Wan. Not a fan. Um, Zelda Master I used to watch. I haven't watched him for a while. Chugga Conroy I used to watch. Depending on the game, I do watch him. Uh, C and D I also watch. So there's that too. Um, yeah, no problem, puppy lover. Thank you. So anyway, um, yeah. So okay, I got those pins. And then, I was a trader and got this PlayStation lanyard. I'm now no longer Mason of Delfino. I'm Mason of PlayStation. Unsubscribe. I'm not doing any Nintendo stuff anymore. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, um, where'd that go? Here it is. Because of the three and a half hour wait at the Pokemon booth, literally, this is what they give you. It's the stress ball. It's, it's so squishy. It's cool. But it wasn't worth the three and a half hour wait. Yeah, I played the game, but I was going to play it anyway. I have it pre-ordered. Mason, I forget, but in your game room tour, I am. I'm confused. Uh, da -da -da. That Smash hat looks really good material, and it looks so lit. Dude, I know. This isn't it, though. This hat is not that hat. I'll get into this in a minute. But I wanted the Smash Bros. hat so bad, and I did not get it sucks anyway uh let's see actually i do have the lanyard here if you want to see it so i didn't i don't know i thought i put it away anyway this side has like smashed hold on i gotta get it organized for you dun, 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 dun. kinda okay so it has like mario tennis and it has arms up here and then breath of the wild on this side you got splatoon in the middle over here you got arms oh wait is that the same side no mario odyssey and then super smash bros on this side all the way through so that's really cool smash was their big game this year um all right mason i forget but in your gaming tour i saw captain tone amiibo was that custom made yes i got it in new york comic con hello tahira did i get that right i doubt i did but hello hi uh and then let's see because I had my Switch at E3, I was I only took it there to get the pin. I wasn't going to play it there. Um, I got this pin. 
And it says, I brought mine. It's a E3 2018. It's a nice little pin there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no. So, basically, that was it. I was waiting in the Pokemon line. And they were walking around with the pin. So, I pulled my Switch out of my pocket. And I'm like, I had it. Give me the pin. So, I got the pin. And that was it. So, there really wasn't much playing involved. They just kind of looked at me like, ugh, he's not even playing it. Whatever. Give him the pin. So, um... Uh, if I can't have your arcade, then can I have your lanyard and your DK mug? No. I'm not selling anything in my room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, hey, Just Dance lover Sean. How you doing? Um, what was my favorite part of E3? I think more so this year, it was just seeing everybody. Um, unless you're talking about the convention itself, playing Smash Bros. I think that was really cool. I got to meet a lot of people. I met uh, Gerard the Completionist. I watched him too, by the way. And Black Nerd Comedy. He was there. Uh, I saw Derek and Ashram Game explain. And Jax Films was walking around, but I couldn't find him. Uh, so that's sad. But, um... Uh, da, da, da. Lots of YouTube friends. There's CND, Jacob. Uh, people like that that I saw. Uh, this hat looks really stupid on me. I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't... I don't know. Should I even wear this hat? Does it look so stupid on me? Okay. That's better, I guess. Um... Yeah, so there was just a lot of people that I wanted to hang out with. I met Duck Hunter 44 there. This poster is very uneven. Oh my goodness, this puzzle. All right, it's a little better. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was just a nice time to see everybody. Uh, when do I think the next Nintendo Direct will drop? Undecided. I think maybe in the next two months. But Smash is their priority. It releases December seventh. So they have time to announce whatever they want to talk about. I think it was stupid that Reggie said they... I think it was Reggie. They said they had more games to announce throughout the year. I don't understand why they wouldn't talk about those now. I guess. I don't know. I thought that was stupid. This, Their biggest games were Smash and argu arguably Fire Emblem. You know? I don't know. I don't play Fire Emblem, so I really wasn't that interested. They had Xenoblade DLC, it looked like. Um... Oh, the Zelda poster still looks crooked. Okay, thank you. Uh, or is it the Mario one? I don't know. Do these look crooked to you? Yeah. This, this that one. This one? Yeah. Is it good now? Well, it's all okay. Maybe. Alright, we're good. I'm keeping it there. Sam said, E3 sucked, lol. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't great, but Smash made it satisfiable. Satisfactory, I guess. Um, I think August would be a good time for a Nintendo Direct, which is in two months from now. Yeah, that's crazy. Time flies. Um, is it bad that I cried when they showed Fire Emblem Treehouse? Um, no, not really. I mean, people cry over games sometimes. Fortnite was a big announcement people loved. Um, I have yet to play it on my Switch for like an extended period of time. But, um, yeah, so the poster straight. Okay, cool. Um... Let's see. Wind Waker is the best Zelda. I like that in Breath of the Wild the best. Mario Party was the only new announcement. Yeah, I know, Sam. But one thing I do like about Mario Party is that it was literally like a traditional one. And me and my girlfriend are totally getting that. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a good time. You know the game is said to destroy friendships? I won't let it ruin us. <laughs> Huh? Mario Party. What? Yeah. People, like, lose friendships because of it. Oh, not going to be friends anymore. No. Sorry. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, well, some of us don't have a girlfriend, Mason. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> don't get all defensive over it. Go get one. Um, let's see. It's going to be a lot like the original. Yeah, that's one thing I like a lot about it. It's like... It's really, I don't know, I like, there's no car, there's no kind of car involved, and it has an online mode, which is really good, because Mario Party needs online, that's one thing I was glad that became a thing, like, you know, it's about time, it's 2018, most games have online, but Mario Party is one, one of the few that don't, that really needed it, and now it has a mode, so that's nice, um, there just really wasn't much, I mean, you know, I don't know. It was it was a chaotic time for the most part. Waiting in lines and stuff. 
do I watch the uh the, the, I watch I don't watch Abdallah, but I did see him at E three. We said hi. Um HMK, no, no. Uh, online Mario Party. Yeah, Mario Party has an online mini game mode. What's the next port that I want on Switch? How about none? I'm tired of Wii U games on Switch. I played them already. Smash Bros. Ultimate looks amazing. I know it does. I know it does. I'm really excited for it. I mentioned it in my video earlier, but I played as Ridley, and then I played as uh, Mario, Bowser, Inkling, I think Little Mac, maybe. I'm not positive, though. Uh, there was a lot to Ridley that I liked. He was a very complex character, though. Um... Oh, but Mason, I thought you loved the Wii U ports. Sam, stop. I like them as for what they are. But I personally am kind of tired of them now. After Donkey Kong, I just kind of was like, you know, okay, I'm done with them. Uh, I have over a thousand hours of Mario Party, including the GBA and 3DS ones. Uh, Mario Party car was worse. Or wrong the Peach and Smash Switch. Was Little Mac even in the demo? I don't think so now that I think about it. I'm not positive though. I don't remember seeing him. Now that you say that. I played as Little Mac the next day or the next two days after with Danny, Nintendo Cade. But that was it. That might have been what I was thinking about that from. Is Ridley floaty? Um he does he feels heavy, but he's also feeling kinda light. Like He's fast, but he's also strong, which isn't really something that counteracts. They kind of, they don't go in counterparts, I guess. Like, it's like Bowser. He's slow, but he's strong. That's because he's slow. He's strong. You know, Kirby or Pikachu, I guess. Pikachu's fast, but he's also kind of weak. So it's like, you know, typically you don't see a really heavy character that moves quick and has um, light damage, I guess. But Ridley is actually pretty powerful, and he's kind of fast, so that was kind of shocking to see. But he is Ridley. Uh, he was said to be too big to be in the game, but here he is now, so everybody can stop complaining that he's not there. Um, yeah, so Little Mac was there, according to Evelyn. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was. I know it was, like, those five, and then I think Ganondorf was there. I People like that. I don't know. A few Fire Emblem characters. They, I think Marth was. I don't know. Um... But yeah, I mean, Smash Bros. was definitely the highlight of Nintendo's floor. Um, they put a lot of emphasis on that game. A lot of like, hey, come play this, you know. So, which was fine. But it was like, the game looks great, but it's Smash Bros. So it's like, everybody's going to get it anyway. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Oh, Bowser Network. Is Bowser in the chat right now? Oh my goodness. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 Am I going to pick up the Amiibo for Smash? No. I can't. Hey, what's what's going on, Nate? I saw Nate at E3 too, guys. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what other pick Sakurai is going to go for. Because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Who else is there, you know? Uh, did I try out Ninjala? Yes, I did. And that game is great. I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. It was, like, very Splatoon-y. Like, uh, Will, the one that was hanging out with us, asked us what the inspiration for the game was. And they were like, oh, uh, we, we don't know. They didn't give him a direct answer. But literally, like, it it's obviously very heavily inspired from Splatoon in terms of, like, the art, at least. It's a very quirky kind of game. You know, you blow bubblegum and launch it at people. It's kind of fun. Um, what non-Nintendo stuff did I see? I saw the Fortnite booth, uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, yeah. Um, let me think. I walked around a little bit more than last time, I think. Um, the Forza Horizon 4, I think, looks really good. Uh, Mason, is your Amiibo collection 100% complete? No. Um, I stopped after, like, 130. I don't know, give or take. Um, Shadow could be an Echo Fighter. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, Mason, play Fortnite? No, Sam. No. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, da, da, da. What did I think about the Zelda design? I like it. Uh, at first, I thought it was like Ocarina of Time or something like that, or a Link to the Past design. But it was actually... Um, it was only Between Worlds. So that was really cool. Has a lot more classy vibe to it versus like the dark goldish tone she had. Ugh, Pink Lemonade is so good. And then also, I surprised Nintendo Cade. Well, Danny, at least. Evelyn was in on it. But I was there, and they gave me some awesome Nintendo New York shirts. Again, thank you guys so much. But then I got these cool little coasters. I'm using them right now, so they kind of have, like, condensation on them. I apologize. Here's Zelda Breath of the Wild. And then this one is, like, a flower from the game. It's got pink lemonade all over it. You gotta go BRB. Okay. TTYL. I'm trying to get this off now. Okay. Yeah, so I got some cool little stuff from them. That was awesome. I think it was really good to see them, though. I was, I've was i been trying to get over there. The flower, yeah. The flower. Not just a flower. It's the flower. The only flower, really. Like, you walk outside, you don't see a flower. You see the flower. That's it. I don't care if you think it's a flower. It's the flower. Do I like Fortnite? Because uh, I don't, sorry, I can't say that because I haven't uh, criticized Wii U Ports yet. Um, oh, F1. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like Fortnite or not yet. I still have to play it a little more to decide. Evelyn says, don't spell pink lemonade on my Switch. Don't worry, I will make that mistake again. She's referencing another time I was eating a peanut butter sandwich. And I got it in between the Switch and the Joy-Cons. So, you know, that was it's kind of fun. Um, Danny had to help me get it out because it was, like, stuck inside the Switch. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Alright, so anyway. Um, another thing that happened was that I met Zachary Hendricks. He is the uh, champion, the winner of the Wii Summer Games 2010. Uh, basically, this is, oh wait, Danny's not here to help me clean off the Switch. I know, that's why I'm being careful, Evelyn. Uh, so anyway, this hat is Nintendo World Championships 2017, okay? Zach gave me this hat, and I've been wearing it basically ever since. You won't guess how much he paid for this hat, though. Just put a guess in the comments. How much do you think he paid for this hat on eBay? I'll wear it so you can see. All right, you see 150, 99 cents. That one's definitely not right. Five bucks, two thousand dollars. You guys' guesses are way too overboard. Oh my goodness, you're making this not fun. Uh, no. Basically, okay, it was on eBay for $130, which I thought was crazy because that's a lot for a hat, you know, and I really wanted this because it was just really cool. It's for the Nintendo World Championships in New York last year. Uh, you know, it's, it's inside the hat right there. Basically, uh, yeah, I wanted this hat a lot. So this guy, Zach, got a hold of me and he was like, hey, man, uh, I'm willing to buy you that hat. And I was like, why? Like, that's ridiculous. And he was going to E3, so I met, him up, I met up with him there. He's a pretty cool dude, actually. Um, Oh, my goodness. Pink lemonade. So, anyway, um, what is basically going on is that Zach won the Wii Summer Games 2010. It is Nintendo's biggest championship they've held uh, in terms of attendees. There was over two, well, participants, rather. There was over 200,000 people competing in this. And Zachary Hendricks was the one that won. As over Wii games, uh, primarily Wii Sports is what I think he said, and one other, I forget. Um, you'll see this in, like, a video from a little bit on. But basically, he was like, if I give you this hat, um, we could trade. And I'm like, alright, I'm listening. This dude has a lot of really rare Nintendo merchandise, and he was gonna do a documentary for his, like, his game he won. Uh, the Nintendo Wii Summer Game thing. So, he was like, if you talk about this a few times in a video, I'll give you the hat. I'm like, yes. So that's fine. And the incentive for you people is that if... I feel like a lot of people know me from my collection, I guess. So he's doing this documentary that needs funded. For every person that donates 
That's all you need to donate to his GoFundMe to get this thing funded. He puts your name in a drawing for this rare Nintendo collection. You know, not the whole collection, but parts of it, you know. Um, like posters and I'm assuming like figurines, all this rare stuff that he has, which is a really cool thing. So I figured that was kind of like my incentive for you guys was that, you know, you know me from this. And if you like collecting too, then there's that. So you'll see me mention that in more detail, uh, a little bit further out. So that's that you'll hear more about that later. But yeah, this was from Zachary Hendricks. That was really nice of him. Really nice offer too. It was great. Um, uh, so yeah, let's see. Does he have the DK cartoon set in the Mario Bros. movie? I don't know. You might have to ask him. I have the Mario Bros. movie, not the Dark Donkey Kong cartoon set, though. That's pretty cool. Um, does this game... Oh. Does GameStop hate you? Or no, Kirby invented Pink Lemonade and won two oatmeal. I have no clue what that means. I don't know. GameStop doesn't hate me. No. We're good. Did Kirby invent Pink Lemonade? I don't know. I, I don't know. You have to ask him. Uh, but yeah, it sounds really cool. It was, uh, yeah, it's a really cool thing, I thought. So if you guys want to help fund a really cool documentary and get a chance to win some really cool Nintendo collection, collectible stuff, you know, like, you'll hear more details about that later on once we get that worked out. Bum, 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 bum. So anyway, that was basically it. Um, there was just a lot of people I saw. I saw Miyamoto from a distance. That was really cool. Um, uh, did it Kojima said hi to our little group. Um, Mason, how does someone become a Nintendo ambassador? Don't ask me that. I'm not in the program anymore. They kicked me out. I can't give advice. I applied, but then they gave me the boot. So I don't know. But yeah, so I don't know. I want to do a Pokemon impressions video, I think, soon. Uh, basically talking about the game and stuff. Um, if people were interested in that. Um, Why did they kick you out? I don't know. They never gave me a reason. Keith Evans, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, they were just like, hey. Bye. I was like, oh, okay. That's sad, but okay. Bye. And I wanted to, t I wanted to ask him about it at E3, but obviously it didn't seem like a good thing to do. Um, what are gaming related stuff you want other than E3 stuff? Also, what's my PO box? I actually haven't ever opened a PO box for my channel. I mean, if that's something you guys would want to do, just let me know. I could probably look into that. I'd be definitely happy to do that. I mean, if people are willing to actually send stuff, I'll do, like, mail unboxings and all. That'd be really cool. Yo, what's up, Keith? But, yeah, I mean, I never actually thought about that. I used to, but then I only got, like, two things. Because that's I, I had, like, 130 subscribers. So, those two people out of there sent me some things, but that was it. Um, I really want that Captain Falcon helmet for me, three. Me, too. Me too. The Donkey Kong stuff, the tie was really cool. All of it was like life size too, so just compare that with everything else. It's just like, it was crazy to see. Some of the stuff is massive, like Donkey Kong's tie. Imagine how big Donkey Kong is in real life. That's crazy. So anyway... Let's see. I don't know. Is there anything else anybody wants to talk about? Because I think I covered most of the E3 stuff. I think I got most of that out there. P.O. Box. You need one. I would watch those mail unboxings. Maybe I'll send you something. Maybe. Uh, wasn't Mario's hat really big too? Actually, Sam, that was about um, smaller than Captain Falcon's helmet. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. You're right. It was really big. Yeah. Now that you say that, it was like on a giant pillow. I think that was, I don't know. I think Mario is like thicker than Captain Falcon. Pun not intended. I know thick is a meme here. But, um, Charles Martinet at E3. I met him again. Yes, I got a picture with him. Um, what HD remake do I want the most? 
Sunshine would be awesome. Uh, who wants a pet Donkey Kong here? I don't know. Not me. I don't need a crazy ape running around my room. Mess it up. I don't know. But yeah, it was just a great time. I'll probably go next year, maybe. Um, but I'll look into a P.O. Box too. I'll, I might make a tweet about it, actually. Um, a poll. So be sure to follow me there and stuff. I may send it off, you know, if you want. But I think that's all for today, guys. Um, I just wanted to give you a little recap on the stuff that I got from E3 and all that good stuff. And I gotta go put it all on the shelf and organize it because I'm still not fully unpacked. Oh my goodness, I keep dropping this and I have short little arms. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. I wonder how Captain Falcon's eyes really look. I don't know. Will I be getting Captain Toad on the Switch? Possibly. That's a maybe. Uh, Charles Martinet will be at Michigan Comic Con. I'll totally go there. Luigi's Mansion would be cool to see on the port. Yeah, that'd be cool if they ported that game. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's all for tonight. I'm going to jump off of here. Um, I'm going to go hang out with my girlfriend and watch Netflix or something like that. So, thank you so much for watching. And be sure to check back soon for another video, probably at some point. Um, I don't know when the next stream will be, but in the next five ish videos maybe i'll have details about um zachary hendrix's documentary thing with the giveaway all that stuff and also um remember i'm doing commissions if you want channel art or something hit me up um, on twitter and we'll work something out i'm doing those too so anyway thanks for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye